shit. Tell us about uh, Huma Secular, man. You play with a man, man. What were you talking about Huma Secular, man? Huma Secular, Huma Secular. I played with Huma Secular. We lived with Huma Secular more than really playing with him. This it was one of us. King one of the brother it. was one of us. Right. You, know, you came to Africa in the 70s, 70 something. Because he came to Lesotho to play a gig with me and Makeba. Then he had a brother that lived in Botswana, was George Patler. They grew up together. So he came to visit George. Then when he came to visit George, then George told him about us. George knew I was one of our brothers. You, you mean us as your band, though? He, yeah, I told him. Yeah, it was my, my band at the time. I had a band called Mother at the time. So George introduced us to you. Then we had two, three gigs. You said, ah, oh, guys, you're brilliant. I'm just going to go back to America, to America, to New York. I'll be back soon. I think I'm, I want to stay here with you guys. Okay, you know. Me, I didn't believe him anyway. I thought, ah, I just uh, Then he left. A month or two later, he returned. To Lesotho? No, to Botswana. Yeah. Then, from there, then he was just uh, uh, one of us. Then I decided. Oh, no, when he came back, that mother band, I left it me. I'd form another one called Kalahari. Kalahari. He's a younger guy. But when he came back, he knew me. Then I told him, ah, oh, those are the guys, the older they were, not so nice. No, no. So I left me. I said, Ivan, mean, these guys are better. They're younger, you know I mean? Those were, you know, we started continuing. Then we, we played many, many years where, for many years, he just stayed and became a simple guy. You know I mean? For many, many years now, but we started now going all over other places in Africa. What was your first impression of you, Asagela? First impression. First impression. No, first impression. when I met you, I heard about him. I heard his songs as well. In first impression was a big shot, but this when he came back for the second time to live with us, he just became a guy like us. We used to share packets of chips, get the rehearsal. Sometimes we didn't have money at all. You know, I mean, we'd be waiting for the kid. We had we had instruments. Then so we started bringing in more connection from South Africa. A lot of South Africans now were keen to come to Botswana to even play with him, big musicians from South Africa. But what a, a huge choice to play with us, really. Because there's a lot of bigger musicians, better than us, who wanted to play with him, who came to Botswana, but he couldn't. He stayed with us. We, we just put in maybe a couple of few more horn, horn players from South Africa. Why did he choose you? I mean, like Kalahari. Why, why you? No, I think it's, it's you. He chose that because for him, for him to be in Botswana, it was easier to play with us younger guys, you know what I mean? He'll be you. First of all, it won't be that commercial for him, you know what I mean? Again, he wanted to be part of something, I think so, I, I suspect. Because the EPF like, was just one of us. He used to go by Ganja and the little village, he used to go, you know what I mean? A complete strip of that American thing. It was much just like a, a guy like a, like a guy. If you didn't know, you think it's just a guy from any little other place. And he lived with us that way for, for many, many years. So this he, is he, what he stopped drinking. He was 70s, not, yeah, 80s. yeah, yeah. So 80s. Right. Uh, seven, let, uh, 70s into 80s. Into 80s. This is all he stopped drinking. Just more, just more guy. Yeah. Stopped everything. So it was really. <laughs> Then eventually he brought his, wife, his, his, his girlfriend wife, Jabu. You know what I mean? Then we really not very far from me in a little house called So we used to raise at my place. That's where this went to Which is where? Gaberon? In Gaberon, yeah. So sometimes you go and raise a huge place under a tree when you're just doing vocals only. Under a tree? Under a tree, yeah. Because <laughs> what we did is we. we we take this a song, then we we'll raise it vocally first. We we'll write writing songs, then you come to my place, we we'll do, we we'll, we'll do, it. and then from there, when we fix in the harmonies, we sometimes we go to his place, we just sit under a tree, you know, and we have saying a bit of tea, you know, what I mean, just spend the whole day there laughing, having a, having a good time, really. African sunshine. Yeah, having a good time. You know, that went on, went on for years and years. That's what you know what I mean. Then, we, then, then it came a time when we came here. That's when really things changed. That's when he started now walking into... Like a star. In, into a star, into a star dome. 
but in Africa we did not even see that. He didn't, he didn't wear that. It was just a normal And I think he wanted a, a break, wanted a rest. So that's why he stayed in Africa for many, many years and became a simple guy. Right, he was secular. This train yeah. is all trapped yeah, I think he wanted a, I think he wanted a rest, leave everything as well, you know, and, and come and have a good rest in Africa for many years. What did the experience with him as secular do to you as a yeah? musician? What did the experience with him do to you? No, he, he, he made me realize I'm, I'm as good as, <laughs> as, as I am. Because when we came here, we started touring with George two Cindy Clark and so forth. And, you know what I mean? Then the way they treated him, he was a big star to them. Then I started realizing that ah, it means we are, we are, we, we are something. This is you know what? I mean? So we went to America with him, we stayed there for a while. Then we started meeting James Brown, all this big stuff, Harry Belafonte, to him. To them, to them, it was something big, but to, that's when we started realizing that ah, this guy is the sort of, so that gave us a lot of confidence and re treated us like professionals, like good musicians. He was very happy playing with us, you know what I mean? We were really we had a good vibe together, you see what I mean? That re made me realize that I'm very good. Because before that I knew I was good, but I didn't think I was as good as these guys. And, and, you know, and you, I mean, the African mentality, I thought, uh, so, you know what I mean, we are law, you know what I mean. But then, what he gave us, he made us realize that we are as good as anyone. What's your name again, sorry? Your name? Okay, it's my name. Okay, okay. 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 So, that's what the most I can say. He gave us the confidence. And he gave us the professionalism that you know we are a profession. This you have to be 100% and and to You can't can be smoking, no. drinking, <laughs> <laughs> take casual. Thing. It's not a casual thing. You can't be late. You can't be any you know what I mean? You are a professional. That's what you really think you, you, you give to us. Cool, man. It's a little snapshot of the train. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's what really can you give to Sure. I, accountability. So right now I'm very confident that I know I'm as good as anyone. Right. I might not be having the money or the whatever, the whatever connection, but I know I'm as good as anyone. I can play with anybody in front of any, any, any place. That's what really you brought down to us. Yeah, and, and he was a very confident guy, you know what I mean? I've never, I've never seen a man, an African man, you know what I mean? that was as confident as him. Wow. In the industry, in every sense, yeah, yeah, really, I don't think I, I don't think, it, 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 I don't know other guys like trailers and so forth, and, but I don't think they were like you, because you lived in America with Americans, and when you get there, then you start to realize they took him like a, like a really big, big shot, but he, to us, he didn't take, he didn't behave like that to us, to, to us was just like an ordinary guy, you go anywhere with him, you know what no, I mean, yes. you, you, no, you know what I mean. He could go, you know, and he was just a guy, and the way we spoke, sure. he was down, down, it was very simple. Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I really feel like it have met, to have met you, and we lived with you for like more than, more than 10, 15 years or so. Yeah. Up and down, you know what I mean?